let's uh, do this subscribe to the channel all right y'all today we got something new and this is the act man all right so for some reason i'll be want to say the ace man but it's the act man and this is the dark side of reaction content bro what's going on with the reaction channel bro Cause i'm a reaction channel slash gamer channel so you know I just want to see what's going on, man. Cause I've been seeing like some weird stuff going on, on Twitter and all this. So I just, I just want to hear his perspective. So let's get it, man. Link up down the description below and all that good stuff. You already know. Let's get it. What's up, everybody? This is the React Man here, and today I want to discuss huh? reaction content on. Hey, look, that Jinx, bro. And that, what is that? It's Jinx. That, that, hey, he like the founder. He the first one to start this old, this whole reaction channel now. Uh. I don't know who that is right now. I can't really see who that is right now. Let's go. YouTube and Twitch. What year is it? I thought this issue was That's solved money. and done with back in 2016 and 17, when the entire YouTube community came together to condemn this degenerate, thieving type of content. If you didn't know, there's been quite a bit of drama. But this all started with two incidents, one of them being Lemino posting a JFK documentary, which XQC and Hassan both reacted to and uploaded a video, copying the title, thumbnail, and much of the metadata, and re-uploading this reaction so soon after the original upload, did feel a bit scummy. And the other instance that sparked this discussion uh, was the ongoing feud between Jax Films and S -S -S Sniper Wolf. But to start off, I, I really- See, that one I saw on Twitter, man. I'm like, bro, what is going on, man? Like, ugh, hold on. Okay. I want to hear what Hassan has to say about all this. So we're going to be checking out um, one of his videos. This is responding to this again, React Gate, okay? Austin Ox can't help himself, has to get me into trouble. But this is actually informative and pretty good. So I'm going to cover this part of it. The irony is Austin Ox himself is an individual entity, okay? He is my editor, but he also works with other people. And this is what he does. He's a human being with his own thoughts and his own opinions. Because we are so conditioned to thinking like, oh no, dude, he's your slave. Everything. I often say, wait, is 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 Hassan playing this or is it uh the Act Man playing this? I think the Act Man is playing this. So like I said, I don't really be watching him, so I'm assuming this is what the Act. I mean, not the Act Man, but Hassan be doing like when he react. So when I'm assuming, like I said, I don't really watch his channel, so I'm assuming like when something going on. A son played the video game while I guess his chat be watching the 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 uh the video. I think that one again. <laughs> That's crazy. He does he does at your behalf. When Austin Ox is talking about reacting or whatever, people get super mad. You know, this is this is kind of loud. The there we go. Yeah, I'm just trying to make some steel bars. I figure if I'm gonna be reacting to content, I might as well be grinding something in RuneScape. I'm pioneering a whole new type of reaction content. But as my name suggests, I am the ultimate authority on React content. The trademark is pending, but I think I will manage to, to wrestle it from the slimy hands of the fine bros. Criticism of reaction content has blown up in the last few weeks, and since the content cop turned in his badge and isn't patrolling the streets, many bad actors have gotten complacent. However, before talking about the bad type of reaction content, let's talk about the best. Old H3H3 videos are still top tier in this regard. I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't watching I, I wasn't watching him like that. I, well, I wasn't watching none of his junk at all. I don't watch more Jinx, bro. But then like like I said, people were going in on him. Like I did like I said, bro, I was more of a viewer, not a YouTuber, so I didn't really know what was going on with the content. They said content thief and all that stuff. I didn't really know what was going on, bro. I'm just a viewer watching it with uh, uh, uh YouTuber. Like I said, bro, I'm just, you know, I'm just watching it with them, bro. You know, cause I want to, you know, see they react to me. I mean, I want to see they react to the things that I like, and, you know, just see how they respond to it. You know, that's how it is, though. Some of Ethan's most popular videos are just reactions, but they're way more than that because he would incorporate skits. He would only play segments of the videos, not the entire things. Are you a game assassin, dude? You probably fucking sick. And in most cases, his reactions made the content he was reacting to bearable. Talk 
up, guys? I'm old Bradbury. I'm Ethan Bradbury. I cannot get over his gaze. I can't even focus on what he's saying. I'm Ethan Bradbury. I think these are the best kinds of react videos where the reaction or the response is the main focus or the main source of entertainment. This is what all reaction content should strive to do, be equally or more entertaining than the thing they're reacting to. And even when Ethan would play clips without him talking for extended periods, he'd add his own little edits it. I gotta hold you though. I like the tech though. I don't know what type of tech. I I, I know I'll be off off sometime, bro. I like the tech. What it? I don't know what type this is, but this is a nice tech he have. Mine, I got like, oh mine, bro. Like, oh that that's that's nice though. I ain't gonna hold you. Then make it transformative. Be connected. It shit is still legendary. This, in my opinion, is reaction content at its best. But if you want to see reaction content at its most deplorable, none do it worse than Sis a Sniper Wolf. This dude is running sideways. What? What? What she does is steal viral TikToks and reacts. I can't put enough quotation marks in that word, but she spams out these react videos on her channel like a soulless factory production. Usually her edit. I get them really, bro. <laughs> editors make sure to crop out the watermarks of the user and she never yeah i don't like when people do that right now though ever links these accounts in the description or gives them any shout out whatsoever yeah i don't like when uh you know i don't like when they do stuff like that man i like at least when i'm at least when i'm reacting bro i always make sure i try to like put they at in i put the link in the description bro i make sure i put like they at in the title so you know i don't know if they see this or not but i make sure if they see you know i put a thumbs up or some shit i don't know <laughs> and then uh and make sure i put a link in the description bro i just try to come in this all you know fair and fair games and this type stuff man that's just me though bro like that's just me though like i said i understand some the other big um youtubers or whatever reactions them they i know i guess some of them don't do that like i said everybody different bro they probably friends with them and all that type stuff too and they probably dm them i don't know but me i make sure that's a small channel i make sure i put the at and the link in the description bro all right yo that's just me now it's sometimes i know with uh like uh, y'all y'all put me on on h matt harry matt y'all put me on harry matt y'all be wanting me to react to some more harry matt i be want to at harry matt but i know his other reaction channel that be reacting to him uh they be like someone be putting like his act and then like I don't want to like be putting at too like probably like flood it like flood his stuff man like I put a link in the description and plus y'all be knowing y'all get hell y'all want y'all want me to y'all want me to check it out so you know want me to check more of his stuff out so yeah it is cold calculated content thievery stop Skyrim you violated the law I mean not Skyrim but all of it's all the benefits without doing any of the work it says the sniper wolf's content is so lazy soulless boring repetitive stale inhuman and devoid of personality that Jax Films started a video series to improve her content where he plays bingo with his audience as they wait and predict how she will react to a TikTok he does this live on stream so so these are genuine predictions he makes very strong chance sniper wolf will read the caption verbatim i opened my beats the wrong way yeah. <laughs> please go to your uh bingo cards and please select reading caption word for word nah that crazy <laughs> oh no now they're not in their little dividers anymore i really want that close up oh no i really want that let's see <gasps> oh no <laughs> nah that crazy bro <laughs> No, nah, they did it too, bro. Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> Holy shit. Nah. Holy shit. Sniper Wolf. I can read you like a book. <laughs> As a content creator who takes great pride in what I do, I would be fucking. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be, yeah, yo, bro, I'll be. Hey, yo, man, we gotta, we gotta turn it up, bro. He, he can read me now. Ashamed and utterly demoralized if anybody could do this with my videos when faced with this criticism how how did this sniper wolf take it you guessed it by blaming sexism i hate bringing gender into this but no one ever attacks the male react channels Are you that's a lot man
That's a lot. I don't know why she went to that. Like I said, I was on Twitter like that. I don't be like scrolling. I just be scrolling, bro. I don't be reading none of this stuff, man. But yeah, man, that's that's cap, bro. They would they I'm pretty sure they all be going after uh man reaction to man. I mean, fellas reaction to man, like Jeans was getting it bad, bro. <laughs> like Jeans was getting it bad, bro. Are you sure about that? No, 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 no. And no, no, you're bringing gender into this because it's your only defense, because you know, as well as we do, that what you do is morally wrong and you produce shit tier content. Side note, you should also subscribe to Jaja Jack's films and watch his live streams on Twitch. He goes out of his way to point out each TikTok user that says a sniper wolf uh, refuses to credit and steals content from. And he links their profile in the description. Oh, well, that good then, man, Cause, bro, I don't I don't know what. Bro, I like, bro, is it really that hard to, like, put the link in the description, bro? It's not that hard to put the links in the description, bro. That's all you got to do. Or at least at them. Well, she can't add them because she don't know them. She need to talk to her editors. And, like, I think she got, like, editors. She need to, like, get with her editors and let them know, like, yo, y'all need to at least put, like, the um links in the description or whatever, man. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, man. You know, she up there, she big though, so you know, she gonna do her description of his videos. So it's <laughs> Jax Films is doing your job for you. He's making your content interesting. Interesting. And crediting the people you are stealing from. But it, it, it gets worse. See, if you watch any of Sissa Sniper Wolf's content for more than a few minutes, not that you'd be able to, as a few days later the police would find your brain splattered against the wall. But if you even just watch one video of hers, you'll notice Sniper Wolf has this odd pattern of narrating what we can all see with our own eyeballs. Mmm, some chalky milk. Oh, that's not milk. Oh, it's become a slime. I can't watch anymore. So much so that her comment section has- I mean, I, I mean, like I said, bro, like, uh, Majority of her audience gotta be young. They real young, bro. Like the young kid. Like I play like what 12, 13-ish, something like around that age. But <laughs> eventually they're gonna grow out of it. And then you know they're gonna be like, Oh, I can't believe I used to um, watch her channel. Like I used to love watching her channel and all that stuff. So yeah. Majority of her audience is very young has turned against her. Honestly, props to Leah, because I was not expecting the comment section to be on. Can't wait to play bingo with this one. I love how much insight she puts into these reaction vids, because damn, that's crazy. I love the part where she turned into a wolf and sniped everyone. I love the way she just explains what happens in the TikTok. She gets so much inspiration from her fans. This is, of course, in reference to YouTube putting out a tweet saying, where does Sniper Wolf get her ideas from? And she said, I get them from my fans. And this, these are the ideas. Re-uploaded TikTok. She's about to sniper explain what we're watching. Bro's got a big old bag of liquid. She's gonna say something like that. Bro has a bag. Of <laughs> sniper Wolf, you continue to amaze me. That's crazy, man. Bro did. At, at, at this point, he might want to do the TikTok all reaction thing, bro. Yeah, bro, I, I, yo, I don't want that. I don't want no that smoke. So she narrates everything that we can see with our own eyeballs. Now you could chalk this up to just being a boring person with nothing valuable to say and making factory line production content, churning that out without any soul or passion whatsoever. You could chalk it up to that. However, astute observers have noticed that the reflection of the computer screen in her glasses is. Oh, see, see, I've been seeing clips of it, like, bro, it, I think, I feel like, I think she reading something, bro. It's always white. And that I think that did look down right here, and that probably be her camera or her mic or something. See, with mine, y'all can see mine, see? Y'all can, can see, y'all can see. And I got my other, I got my other shades, too. Hold on, I got my other one, because I, I don't like, like, what you calling? Hold on. Let me put, let me put these on. I got these, too, man. Let me. I like putting these. I like putting these on too, man. I, I don't. I don't like to stand too close. I mean, I don't like to be like just looking at the camera on my t on. I often say TV, my monitor. Because sometimes when I when I sit on my computer and just, you know be doing it, it be messing with my eyes and stuff. So that's why I always put the dark shades on. So, but I like these too. Oh, and I got some more shades. I got these. <laughs> it's always white. You can. Please, yeah, you can. Oh, he finna explain it. <laughs> 
Kind of, well, you can so you, see my ring light in these glasses. And you can see my ring light, like my ring light. So I got mine like low, like right there, bro. You can't see it, but it's right there. It was right there, bro. Right? You can see the ring light there. But if I put on my other glasses, you can see the light changing, right? If I put like a see, red can, wallpaper on. This see, y'all yeah, yeah, can, yeah, can see it on my reflection. Like the red, you can see the red right, right there. You can see, you can see it, the red right there, bro. <laughs> this is what I'm looking at. And you can see it in my glasses. But again, if you look at Sniper Wolf's glasses, it's always a white box. What does this mean? Well, it's that, yeah, she's looking at something, bro. She reading something. She reading something. She definitely got it. She definitely reading something. That what I'm getting though. It's like she's reading something. It's almost as if she's looking at a script, a Microsoft Word document, and not actually the video she's reacting to. Look at this. There's multiple instances in which you can see the reflection of her monitors in her fucking glasses, and it's just white. You see her microphone, and you see a, just a white screen. I don't see this video with the, tr the quirky trampoline white boy jumping off it and hurting himself. I see a fucking Google Doc. What the fuck? Sniper Wolf is so fucking lazy. It like she exposed her own self, and like that would again like she exposed her own self, bro. She's not even reacting to what's on screen. She's faking it, just like she fakes her gameplay. She fakes her Instagram photos. This is oh wait, she fake her gameplay. I thought, I thought, oh, I like I said, I ain't new, bro. This is the fakest bitch on YouTube, dude. You, yeah. you are faking the laziest type of content on the platform. Oh, oh, but we're not done. It gets so much worse, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. One thing that always pisses me off with lazy content creators like this is when they reuse the same four faces in every thumbnail. Now, I ain't gonna hold you, bro. Now, I, I, got, some, I got some thumbnails that, like, you know, not a lot. I mean, I got some thumb. I got some thumbnails that do that too, man, bro. I, <laughs> I do got some thumbnails like that, bro. But not. I don't put them all like like this every time, though. But I do got some thumbnails like. <laughs> hey yo, hey you know. <laughs> Sometimes I reuse poses or faces, but it's generally spread out so that it's not noticeable at first glance. I've I've done this just a handful of times. I oh, see, I see, I did, man, I like that too. Look at Sniper Wolf shit. Look at this garbage. Look at this. Just a, just take one glance and look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven videos with the same face. These two are just back to back. Oh my God! Look at this! Look at this unique thumbnail! Wow, it really stands out when you change. Let's let's actually let's go back a year and see how many times she made this face. A few moments later. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. You get the picture. Like so, this is the most disposable dog shit, lazy copy and pasted content one can possibly make. You you are so lazy. You can't even just take like 30 minutes or an hour out of your day to set up a green screen and take various poses for thought all out new vegas bro if y'all ain't never played their game bro y'all living on the a rock and i um preached um pre-ordered my um what is, is it starfield starfire starfield starfire one or two i pre-ordered that and i'll be able to be playing that live on youtube and kick yes sir but i'm going let me uh, get my followers. Thumbnails, like, it's, it's so fucking easy. It's a wonder this woman isn't starring in my 600 pound life, given how lazy she is. Sniper Wolf is also such a talentless hack that she thinks reacting to other people's content makes it hers and therefore makes it her original idea because she like called out Mr. Beast for reacting to similar things she did. Like, Im imagine how detached from reality you have to be to think that you own content it's like she was trying to get a up a up one up she's trying to get one up <laughs> that's all she was trying to get if you're the first person to react to it jesus christ but it <laughs> it gets worse because i was watching one of her clips and she does this thing where she repeats the exact same clips and reactions in a video in order to stretch it out to eight minutes so that she can put mid-roll ads what people jump this high oh he jumped on like a little trampoline thing i was like there is no way bro just flew into the hoop dunked himself too does that count for extra inside Mwah. i know a good chicken when i see one what i don't know how 
of people jump this high. Oh, he jumped on like a little trampoline thing. I was like, there is no way. This shit was spaced out like 40 seconds, dude. There's no end to the depths of depravity she will go. She will react to TikToks and then cut out the joke from the TikTok and pretend the joke is hers. She hit it with a Hadouken <laughs> and she keyed in cheater on his car. The guy in the video said she hit me with a Hadouken? No, hold on. We have a very serious accusation from someone in the Twitch chat. The uh, she do? This bitch hit my shit with Thor's hammer. This bitch hit my shit with a Hadouken. <laughs> Thor hammer with a Hadouken. Hadouken. Nah. Oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Anna. laughs> that's crazy okay, yo. in all of my months of jj jack's films this is probably the single most egregious thing you've ever done one of the most extreme examples but then again like i said maybe it could be her editors that like saying they write in, they writing in like the thing so she like see on her own you can see it like on her own the glasses she probably they, the editor probably wrote it or she can say it i don't know it's not like that. i don't know of like content thievery is uh she stole a video from a guy whose original video had 1.6 thousand views at the time and her video that included that re-uploaded video had 13.6 million views there was no yeah. trickle down no effort wait did she wait did she did she uh it wait wait i gotta see did she at him or at least put a link in the script no go at 13.6 Dang, I don't think I don't wait. Going to whoop pack, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dang, bro, she ain't put the link in the description. See that the part, and bro, and like, oh, she got over thirty million, bro. And she don't put the link in the description. That's crazy, bro. What's so hard? Just put, just put the link in the description, bro. Or leave at them. That's crazy. That the part getting me, bro. Point six million. Just me at, it, at that point, like y'all just being greedy. Like certain reaction channels, they just be being, being greedy, bro. Views. There was no trickle down, no effort, no fucking care in the world. So, so Sniper Wolf, you are a thief. You are a scumbag. Everyone in the content creator hemisphere should unify and call you out on your bullshit. Now, the main topic of Jack's video seems to be SS Sniper Wolf, aka Miss, sits there and watches other people's content for money and makes millions, including mine apparently, which I had no idea about. And uh, yeah, it's extremely lazy, and I hate it. I don't have any sympathy for thieves. Thieves being re-uploaders, and people who just sit in the corner of a video making money off of other people's content. That's, that's, that's messed up though, I ain't gonna hold you, bro. Do you know if I had that much, if I had that much, if I had that many like subscriber, bro, you best believe I am adding that person. <laughs> I'll make sure this person can get up, bro. Like, uh, like Corey Kenshin. Corey Kenshin, he do it good, bro. Like Corey Kenshin, he'll react to like some spooky stuff, and then he'll like he'll go check out the um. He like let me check it. Corey Kenshin, he'll do the sun. He Corey Kenshin, this way. Then what Corey Kenshin he'll do? We we check out like a reaction. I mean, he check out like the reaction, like the spooky stuff, and then he go to their own um, their channel. And he tell the all uh, his viewers, go do y'all thing. Go subscribe to that channel. Rent rent him more. Rent him more, bro. Love that right though, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. I, I had to scratch subscribe too for them too, man. Like, yo, I like stuff like that. I, I can respect some um um reaction channel that if she would have did some stuff like that, man, I can you know I can respect that, but you know she don't. Jax Films, Jax Films is one hundred percent right in that YouTube themselves should not be promoting your kind of content, your kind of strategy, especially at VidCon, as it you know it's, it's the views, bro. It sends the message to creators that stealing someone else's hard work is a better approach than making your own. There's a lot of nuances to making reaction content and clearly Sniper Wolf gets all of it wrong. It's entirely possible to make react videos ethically. And recently a YouTuber named The Act Man made a great journey through time looking at some of mainstream media's finest pieces on gaming. So I just wanted to share some of the- I'll be checking out on um, what's called here too. He he did the little anime on um, what most critical. I'll be checking out some of his stuff too, man. He did a little anime. I'll be reacting to here too. Like he did the little what is it? God slap this thing right here. He did like a little. Uh, I think him and his squad did a um, a anime to it. And I even add them. Like I said, I'll be adding them. Like I said, I don't know if he probably saw it, but he 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 did. Maybe, maybe he did. I don't know, bro. Like I said, I, I make sure I add like them. Put a link in the description and all that stuff. I might put it up there. Like I see it, bro. Yo. 
their highlight montage here with their best takes in gaming. I'll put a link to Ackman's video in the description so that way you can see all of the stories because, wow, they're really something special. But it's also very easy to screw this up. It's easy for a large creator to keep an eye on trending videos to quickly upload a reaction in order to steal, siphon, or cannibalize the viewership <laughs> of that smaller creator. The biggest detriment of reaction content is that someone who watches the reaction is much less likely to watch the original. This problem is a lot less relevant for small creators reacting to bigger ones. For example, a channel with like 3,000 subs watches a video of mine in its entirety and gets 10k views, that doesn't really affect me at all. You know, I'm happy they're watching it and sharing their enjoyment with their audience. I'm a small one, bro. You know, I'm a small reaction channel. I ain't gonna hold you. I probably get like, you know, it all depends, bro. Cause you know, I react to like, um, I react to H man. I react to like rapping stuff, like people rapping. I react to a whole lot of anime stuff. I react to the power skills. They, yeah, yeah, the power skills. Yeah, they, yeah. When it comes to Goku versus Tommy, bro, I'm letting y'all know now. No one is not beating your boy Say Tommy. He's the goat, bro. But we ain't gonna get into that car, bro. They, 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 they is flooding. They is flooding my comment section. <laughs> there you go. But it becomes more significant when big creators react to each other or big to small. There was a recent case with my Diablo 4 fanboys video. It started off really well, getting pretty good views the first day. Then Asmongold uploaded a reaction to it, got good views the second day, but then the video fell off harder than Quebble Cop on the third day. What I realized is that if you're a big creator who's going to react to someone's video, you should wait at least four days for it to be pushed in the algorithm naturally. And oh, see, I ain't knew that it do that like that, bro. Mm. So I want to do that. Do that. Does that affect like? See, I'm a small. I'm a small reaction channel. So does it affect us? Like a small one? If we react to it, I don't think it might affect us, bro. Cause true, I be reacting to like when, like some of you, <clears throat> when they upload stuff, bro. I bet, bro. I, I barely can get past like. Hmm, I can get past. Sometimes I can get like three views. Sometimes I can get. Hmm, three. Six, eight, seven, sometimes one. Hey, one is better than nothing, bro. And that's what Asmund and I talked about and agreed on after this happened. In this way, it creates buildup for his audience. They'll ask him to watch the video and they just have to wait patiently. So when he finally does, his audience is going to be excited. It means that my video will do better in turn and so will his. You can see the difference in views on. Let me see. Okay. Okay. Yeah, see if I if I was like something like this, bro, I'll wait like probably like two days. So cause you know he can get his up first. Like I feel like it'll be you know what I'm saying? I feel like that's the right way to do it. Like if I'm a big reaction channel and you know you got your viewers, like your viewers really want you to check them out. I'm gonna wait probably like two days, bro. I'm gonna wait two days. And then just, you know what I'm saying? Then I'm gonna react to it. That's how I'll do it. I'm a smile on those, so bro, you know what I'm saying? What it is. On these two videos, despite them being on the same game. I like Esmond Gold. He's a big ass nerd like me who loves talking about video games and he's reacted to a bunch of my videos. As someone who takes passion in what I do, I enjoy watching those reactions. They always do really well on his channel and some might say, but act man, he's stealing views from you. Those views belong to you. Maybe they do. I can't say for certain, but what I can say is a lot of people who are subscribed to my channel wouldn't be subscribed if Asmongold never made these videos. And that goes for Charlie as well, reacting to like my Elden Ring hot takes video and many others. These moments have boosted my channel in, in really positive ways, and I think it's because the people watching the videos and reacting to them enjoyed it and promoted my channel in the proper way. And that brings us to XQC, who is somehow way better than sniper wolf at making reaction videos his problem is that he does less reacting and more re-uploading but all too often he just sits there for minutes at a time without uttering a peep and his editors don't cut out like the dead air so there's these long yeah that's the part that began me but man that i just 
wild out him, bro. Long stretches of him not saying anything, providing no insight, not transforming the content. It's I mean, he need he need to let his editor know, like, yo, bro, at least like edit those parts out. I mean, it's not that hard, bro. Like, if you trying to do this like as a business type, bro? Tell them to edit, god dang shit up. <laughs> edit certain stuff out, bro. It's not that hard. You supposed to be the boss, man. You tell them what to do. Essentially just re-uploading it to YouTube. XQC reacted to my TikTok, right? I had a clip of it, but apparently like yesterday, XQC decided to take that clip and post it on his YouTube channel. Finish the sentence. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Eyes. I'm going to uh. dream. Stay away from her. That's a banger of a reaction. Dude's webcam froze for a few seconds there. I don't even think he blinked in that clip. Hassan and XQC do come from a different branch of content creation than YouTubers, right? Live streaming is very much a what have you done for me recently type of content creation. So the idea of leaving for five minutes to, to take a dump means they think they'll lose viewers, which they might. But if you're reacting to a video, I can't imagine anything being more disrespectful than than viewing it as so un. Yeah, me, man. I really see that right there, bro. This is this I mean, if, if I was that person, bro, I feel so disrespectful. Like the person that made this, I really feel like, you know, in the back of my mind, I feel like very like, yo, this some disrespectful type stuff, man. Like you, you left. It ain't even positive or nothing, bro. Like, I don't know, me, bro. Like, yo, bro. Like, respectfully, bro. Don't, don't check out my, don't, don't look at my stuff no more, bro. If you're gonna do something like this, or at least edit it out or something, pause it or something. Dang, I don't, I don't like stuff like that though. It really get me hot. Important that you can just let it play and just get up and, and you're not even reacting to That's it. That's crazy. And then you miss so much context because five, ten minutes of the video have gone by. You come back, you don't even know what the fuck you're reacting to anymore. It just feels like Hassan wanted to not be streaming anymore, but didn't want to lose those uh, stream dollars. Like outside of the camera being on him, how is it any different than him just watching a YouTube video off stream? It just rubs me the wrong way. Like, how do you think of your viewers to just stream your break? Dude, what am I supposed to do? Die? You're not going to die, Hassan. Your heart will keep beating. Neither is your channel going to die. Believe it or not, you've got a pretty sizable and consistent audience. I think many of them are loyal to you and understand that even you, even you, Hassan Piker, need to take a shit sometimes. And it's you do not, not have my permission to walk away from. For my the video. record, I'm not. I'm not actually walking away for any extended period of time. Like, what are you supposed to do if uh, if there's an emergency and you have just to say, "Wait, I'll be right back." Yeah, you can. Well, that and also you can pause it. But the problem is, yeah, pause the video. When you pause the video, it's just like makes uh, the content awful. You know what I mean? Yeah, but like, that's it, no. I'm just telling you. No, no, I know. I, I I, you're right. You say, say guys, put on you're, a song or something. You know what I mean? You're Fucking absolutely show. right. Yeah. So just pause the video, dude. Just pause the video and come back later. I will give props to XQC for at least bothering to use unique faces in each of his thumbnails. And unlike Asmund Gold, XQC doesn't seem to have any standard for the content he uploads to his YouTube channel and has no regard for how his reaction videos might affect smaller creators. He did try to debate Ethan Klein on this subject, and I use the word debate pretty loosely because he started doing the worm. But when presented with evidence that a reaction video of his had negative consequences for a smaller creator, XQC didn't deny it. He just called the guy a paid actor. XQC, he really just steals my shit, entertains his audience of hundreds of hours I put into my videos while I get just a link in the YouTube description. The problem isn't the reacting, it's the re-uploading of my video with his face on the thumbnail, and I don't DMCA him because I don't want the Twitter drama. Oh... This is XQC. He's been cannonaded this afternoon by all the enemies of his life. His insecurity has shelled him. His sensitivity has straddled him with humiliation. His deep-rooted disquiet about his own worth has zeroed in on him, landed on target, and blown him apart. Mr. XQC, who in just a moment will move into the twilight zone in a desperate search for survival. He doesn't want the Twitter drama. Wait, why okay. are you? Well, hold on. This guy says you stole his shit. Why are you denigrating that? I think you should take this seriously. Well, because one, he's a paid actor, right? Which huh? I think. I mean, that's a Bro, paid actor. Bro, I'm a right? paid actor. Wait, what? What um, did you say? It's... Oh, it's a paid actor. Yo, is this person fucking retarded? Yes. No, you can't trust this guy. He's part of a conspiracy plot against me. Really, dog? It was at this moment XQC lost the debate as well as any authority on the subject of React content 
and pretty much showed everyone that he's just brooks and i even had this debate man like bro you he yeah yeah that's crazy just incredibly lazy don't make react videos like xqc i think it's a problem for almost any creator if the bulk of their content is reaction based because then they become defined by what they're watching and not what they themselves make if you rely too much on reaction videos then inevitably you kind of you'll lose your own talents and touch as a content creator. But from the way XQC makes content on his YouTube channel, you'd assume he's someone who's never worked hard for anything. But the dude used to be one of the best players in Overwatch, so that's not true. I, I like XQC. I think he's been acting like a clown recently, but I like him. The reason I and many others are upset in calling him out is because I feel that he's way better than this. That he doesn't need to resort to this sort of like bottom tier content in order to entertain his audience. One, in fact, one of my favorite videos of him was like a stream he did where he just went to the gym and it, and it was just, it was so fucking awesome and wholesome to see this guy out of his element. Like, why don't you do more stuff like this? You know, like this is so fucking, look at the positive response you got. Yeah, I, I like stuff like that, bro. I like I like always going to the gym and work on my game, bro. I like going to the gym. I always eat healthy, bro. Like the key, the key is to eat healthy, bro. That's the key, bro. Takes balls to stream himself struggling with the bar. Yeah, this is why I respected XQC. But now you look at his channel. Most of it's not even gaming related. It's just reacting to everything. Oh, well, there's some gaming content. XQC, of course, got a, a massive contract with Kick. And money does something to people. Money changes the weak willed. Fans of American football might remember uh, a, a feller named Jamarcus Russell. You know where I'm going with this. This guy got a $93 million contract with the Oakland Raiders. And after that, he seemingly jumped off a cliff and had no fucking passion for the game at all. He took the guaranteed money and ran. I see this same like change and lack of passion in XQC. So like, I mean, just right. Chat, why is the chat not coming out chat for react harder? Chat, I guess I this is a video on XQC's channel. Look at, look at the fucking cluster fuck that is on screen. You've got Ethan and Hassan. You've got XQC's chat overlaid the chat below. You have a video within a video xqc's face is on screen three separate times what the fuck is this i don't know bro that did have that, that, this, this still like a bro like this is crazy what the f a reaction react to a reaction a reaction react to a, a reaction react to a reaction oh god that i don't know it be it that's this right here be having me laughing bro when people do that well you know i'm cool with it though fuck kind of video is this what the hell am i looking at what are you reacting to i like how does your audience make sense of any of this shit cut cut to just your face how about that i found another clip from a video i got called out for reacting and i want to show it to you guys what's up guys what's up guys with, guys, welcome to that chat. Welcome to my channel, chat. My name is XC. Today we're doing an deep live analysis on this video. We're doing a React Today chat. The React number one today is is XC actually this dumb? Okay, so so you're making fun of people that are calling you out for lazy reaction content, and your response is to do what they're asking you to do. Look, look, you added hey, up, guys? you added some text. You you add your editors did a little animation on it too. Like yeah, yeah, that's. That's slightly transformative. Guys, guys, he's learning. He's learning. So Muda made a tweet that blew up this whole thing and said, just a shame garbage like this fills the recommended. Hey, no, I, I be following on, um, you know, Muda, whatever his name is. I be following him and I be checking out his channel. Yeah. Real cool dude. He seemed like a real cool dude tab and xqc responded i wonder what triggers people like you so much revenue share audience split algorithm he goes straight for the money bro that's crazy i ain't gonna hold you yes yes all of those things trigger people whose content is being stolen because every single youtube channel relies on revenue the algorithm and their audience in order to be successful what are you talking about i've seen this complaint a million times and most public figures try to attack it from multiple angles just to fall flat on their face if you've heard this complaint so often perhaps a little introspection is necessary mood a clap back with i know you're not the brightest but i didn't expect you to be this intellectually dishonest nothing is inherently triggering when you view live content on a different platform it's when you re-upload the content to the same platform and have it copy the same metadata to further cannibalize. This hits the nail right on the head. When people essentially try to siphon that same revenue and that same audience off of a video by making it look as similar as possible to it and re-uploading that 
so soon after the original post but xqc does link the video look at that let's let's check it out does he link mr beast's video yes he does honey v2 Yep, he links it. So the reason I point this out is to illustrate how fucking awful Sniper Wolf is. So yeah, the, the more you listen to XQC on the topic of reaction content, the more you realize that he's merely coping and unable to withstand constructive criticism. He whines and moans about other creators being insecure, but then tries to flex his wealth on people like Ethan Klein. It's like, are you trying to be a spitting image of rice gum? What's wrong with you? Might does not make you right. Money does not make you funny. Okay. Overall, reaction videos, like all content on YouTube, takes time to make it good. XQC and Sniper Wolf are two creators with more than the means at their disposal to make genuinely good reaction videos to credit the people involved to not siphon that audience away from them and to shout those people out but i just wanted to do my due diligence in trying to keep this platform nice and clean at least try to at least get them a shout out bro that's all i'll be asking them uh you know what i'm saying that's that's the least they can do <laughs> and point out the bad actors in it so thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed the video leave a like if you did and subscribe to the act man for more awesome content all right everyone that's all i got for today and there you have it ladies and gentlemen yeah man like that hey yo what he said yo man i, I could agree on some of this stuff he talking about man like at least put the ad at least the description bro it's not that hard but yeah yeah i know link up in the description below like come subscribe for the new man i'm gonna be safe